Howdy hey, welcome back to another Bryce Pitts 01 video filming his action figures on the walls. And of course today we're going to be opening up another good old Legends here. We're going to be opening up the old WWF Legends here. But he's also part of the WWE as well, but no longer there anymore because he's with AEW aka All Elite Wrestling. So here he is, the badass Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn. That's right, back in his old DX days that we all know and love, back in the good old 90s. So I already opened up old Ryder Ryder Piper, and I think I opened up uh, Johnny Gear Dog, still trying to find that chase, and still haven't found Kevin Nash yet, so hopefully I'll find him soon. If you guys want to pause and read the history of good old Billy Gunn and how he joined a D Generation X with his longtime partner, um, the Rogue Dog, Jesse James. And uh, yeah, here's a picture of him smiling. And then let's see if there's another one. Yes, definitely on this side as well. Alrighty guys, without further ado, let's open him up. Alright everybody, here he is. Badass Billy Gunn, he's out of the packaging. And uh, I gotta say, he definitely comes with a few things. He comes with a t-shirt, comes with camo pants, and a few interchangeable hands. So uh, not that bad. So I guess we'll go ahead and start off with the most detailed of them all which is this D D generation x helmet of course you get some old duct tape duct taping some uh tree limbs pretty interesting so uh, you got a little x right there um you get the D generation x t-shirt which is a classic and all you got to do is just take off the jacket not the jacket i'm sorry t-shirt not jacket t-shirt and you just pull it off. Well, before you do that, we'll get into the and your interchangeable hands right here, right now. So let's just say if you want to switch off the hands, you just pull them off and you switch them with the other ones. But in this case, if you want to not ruin the t-shirt, you just take off the hands. Because it makes it a lot safer without damaging the t-shirt. I heard that's a new thing now. So we shall do that for every action figure review from now on, unless nothing happens, but who knows. So this is what he looks like without him wearing his t-shirt. He looks ripped. Um, yeah. The only thing that's missing on him is his rose little tattoo that he has on his stomach. And then, of course, if you want to take off the camo pants, you just rip off the camo. And then, of course, you get his little wrestling trunks. You get the green lips, pink lips, purple lips. Nothing on the front. It's just plain. So I might have to do a little bit of this off camera so I know exactly what I'm pulling off here. Could you put this back on? Maybe. As long as you could do it really good and all that good stuff. So uh, here we go. I think we're about had it. And he comes with knee pads. One is in green. One is in purple-ish. Then a couple of them. Oh, 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 okay. So on this side right here, you get blue lips right here. So that's interesting. And there you go, taking off the pants is easy, easy squeezy, lemon squeezy, of course. Uh, yeah, all right. We got it. We got the pants off. So we just try to get his one leg in. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get his other leg in right here. Is the usual. So yeah, definitely an interesting figure. I gotta say, I'll I'll deal with the pants later. So this is what he looks like without him wearing his trunks. Very interesting. Well, not wearing his. You know what I meant to say. Oh, geez. If he wasn't wearing his trunks, he'll be butt naked. We don't want that. And of course, for the interchangeable hands, pretty easy. You just put it on the wrist. You push, you push, and you push. And it just goes right in. Gotta say, on this figure, it looks pretty good. I am actually not gonna lie. And to let you guys know, a little side note, he does not come with interchangeable not interchangeable what am i talking about he does come with interchangeable hands but he doesn't come with double jointed elbows so you still get the regular old-fashioned mattel arms that we all know and love today but the ones that we do know and love today we get double jointed elbows for the elite figures so that's pretty interesting so yeah pretty much um i like the head sculpt of old billy gun himself he looks pretty happy right here let me just zoom it in right here so you guys can see looks pretty happy with this long slick back hair very interesting indeed hopefully you guys can see his face yep 
It's very nice, very detailed indeed. Like the little luxurious blonde hair he's got there. And yeah. Let's move on with the yours truly the articulation of the figure. Okie dokie then, so where do we begin? So, uh, of course we got to move on with the chest here. He can always look down like this, as you can see. We can do this right here. Um, he can sort of look down unless he's getting kicked in the gut. And I don't think he can lift up this much either one. I don't actually think it's the hair. I think it's just the actual neck part itself. That can, like, this is how much you can look up so much. Or that's how much you can look up so far. That's what I'm about to say. So, of course, he's an elite figure, so he can split his legs. Not all the way, because I guess some parts of the legs are kind of like, um, not wanting him to go fully. But his legs can kick forwards, but he cannot kick backwards because of the buttocks area because you can't kick back there so um yeah and of course he can bend his knees of course he can bend his uh his right knee we'll get onto his left knee right here and you get his left knee he can kick uh, a wrestler in the face or if he likes to play sports after he's done having his wrestling match all right then we'll have to move on with the boots here some plain regular black boots of course with the straps very interesting. His boots go round and round. Uh, his foot can bend on his left, so his is right. So he can stand on his tippy toes, and maybe he's trying to reach for the cookie jar or something. Maybe he likes eating cookies, or maybe he likes eating gummy worms, you know, whatever, you know, whatever snacks he's into, or whatever candies he, what, whatever he's into, go for it, man. Go for it. No judging here. Um... And, of course, we got to go to Angle Pivot City, so let's do this. Angle Pivot City! Woo-woo! Good old Angle Pivot City. What would we do without good old Angle Pivot City? That should be a merchandise. Should I sell some merch that says Angle Pivot City? Let me know in the comments below. I can make... Somehow make it happen, but it might take a couple of months, so... Or years, so stay tuned for that. And then, of course, his head goes 60 degrees as the usual... But you can't do that and stuff in real life. Twist your head around and around 60 degrees. Speaking of 60 degrees, you get the bicep 60 degrees right here. You got a... His arms go 60 degrees. Same thing on the other side right here. Or just one more time, just in case you didn't see. And then you get this part right here. This goes 60 degrees very nicely. Uh, hands go 60 degrees, you can bend them forward, you can bend them backwards, all that good stuff. Same thing on his right hand, I already did it on his left. Uh, you know, just like that. And, uh, this also spins around, as the usual. Then you get leg swivel right here, on his left and right, right here, which is very nice. Gotta have all that good details, an elite action figure. So, I think that is about it on the main man himself. Good old badass Billy Gunn. What do you guys think of badass Billy Gunn? Do you guys like this wrestler? Should you get your hands on him? I think so. So, it's time for me to give this scale of this figure between a 1 out of 10. You know what? I'm going to give this figure an absolute 10. 10 out of 10. Why? Because number 1, he comes with pants. Good old camo pants. Number 2... He comes with a nice t-shirt, D-Generation X, and he comes with a helmet, but however, he doesn't come with a championship or anything, he just comes with interchangeable hands. But on the other hand, this figure is great, and I absolutely recommend getting this figure. Unless there's something wrong with it, I will give you guys a quick disclaimer. If you're going to collect action figures or just play with them just for fun or do both, make sure your figures are in good condition once you open them. Make sure you test them out and all that good stuff. I just want to put that out there because I was working on an, an amazing action figure review for the um, WrestleMania uh, 38 video. You might want to stay tuned for that. Um, something was going on with my Stone Cold Steve Austin, but I will keep you guys an update on that. And the video won't be coming out unless March, maybe. I'm not really sure because that's what I'm thinking about posting those videos specifically for the... WrestleMania build a figure Vince McMahon action figure review so you might want to stay tuned for that stay tuned for it so uh, yeah 
that is about it on the main man himself, good old badass Billy Gunn. And I hope you guys enjoy this review. And please share this video with your friends and family. And uh, one thing, if something's wrong with your action figure, you either fix it by yourself or ask a parent to help you fix it. Or just take the figure back and it's no longer use of being fixed. Because like I said, anything can possibly go wrong with these figures in a good way or bad way. If it goes out good, it's good. If it goes out badly, then I say definitely get a new one immediately. Or have, just get two of them just in case if something goes wrong with them. That's kind of how I did it with my Ricochet video. Go check that out. And uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and end off this video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please just hit that like button and leave a comment if you guys love Badass Billy Gun, of course. And most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications if you're new to my channel only. If you're new to my channel, that's fantastic. If you're an old subscriber, stick around. Keep on watching more of my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, you guys have a nice and have a blessed day. Peace out.